Tamar Braxton, this is her third marriage, I think, and third divorce. I've been single for the last six months. I am emotionally unavailable to you, and I'm physically unavailable to you. I called him, and I'm like, yo, you stayed at the Four Seasons this weekend? Now, I don't okay. know what y'all want me to do with that. Nothing. Y'all are not together. She's wild. You know, crazy but... booty's the best booty. So she, as crazy as she is, she probably puts it on you. How do you look at this chick and go, I'm going to marry her? This is why you should never get married. Mm. Less than four years of knowing somebody. Let that flower bloom. Find out if it's stinkweed or not. <laughs> I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. It's a rough go for dudes out there. And especially mm. if you hook up with a crazy woman, even after you're out of the relationship, the craziness never ends. Tamar Braxton, what is she famous for? Because I had to ask. Tony Braxton's had a reality show. And this woman was just off the hook. She was the... the Unhinged. Uh, she's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she was oh, off so the hook. Oh, so she's famous for being crazy. That's yes. what it is. Now, now she can not sing and everything, but she was... Crazy. Yeah, that's that's you not know. mutually exclusive. Those are two yeah, no, separate no. talents. No, no. And some uh, of our she... finest singers have been crazy. Tamar Braxton, uh, she got into a thing. This is her third marriage, I think, and third divorce. So now even this one has become volatile because apparently she went online and, and said that uh, she accused her ex-husband of using her credit card or stealing her credit card number. She just took yeah. the social media to address it. Notification that my car got used to the Four Seasons Hotel in New Orleans. I called him and I'm like, yo, you stayed at the Four Seasons this weekend? And he was like, I did. And automatically you got an attitude. And I'm like, what you? Well, this is one of my favorite things anytime someone tells a story is where you change the voice to make the other person look like a jerk off. Yeah. <laughs> like I called him up, you know, I was calm and collected. I was like, calm. Which, and I you, bet you were not. She ain't calm now. Yeah. But go ahead. You're not even calm telling the story. I guarantee you you had an attitude when you called him up. Like you just changed the voice now, to make this the is, other person. Like she had dated she had in the reality show she had dated a black, black dude. Then she dated a, a Nigerian dude. Now this dude is the white dude. She now she tried she you know cuz she's switching it up cuz it's always them. Well, we, it's got to be something, right? It's not. It can't we, be her. Right, right. So she keeps switching it up. But go ahead. We have an understanding of our friendship, right? Uh, Rob said that the hotel said that my card that was clearly used. We got it. We got it. Your card. We got it. Your card. At the hotel for Mr. Jeremy Robinson and his guest, Miss J. Now, I don't okay. know what y'all want me to do with that. Because when I asked him about it. Yeah. By the way, just to, yeah, just to clarify, they are not together. No. They're, they are separated, and I believe in the process of getting divorced. They are not together. Right. So, I guess He's, she could. He, well, we'll get to him in a second, but what are you supposed to do with it? You're, gonna, you're supposed to say, listen, there was a problem with the card. Maybe you were, uh, maybe you used the wrong card. It it was a, it's a thousand dollars. I'll reimburse you, but contend. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is this is there's a, clearly an easy solution for this, and obviously she's not taking that. So, you know, you could also put on makeup. Because when I had asked him about it, because for somebody who's been in show business, you'd think you'd want to look good uh, for a video that you're she trying to get to go good. viral. That's well, that's. She don't got no friends. Now I don't know what y'all want arms. me to do with that. Mm -hmm. Cause when I had asked Let me tell you something. This look right here, the second this... a woman gives me that once, that's it. Run. I'm out. I'm Run. done. Run. This is not gonna get better. I don't need a woman looking at me like she's a defensive line coach. I don't need that. <laughs> and you just fumbled. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need that. I don't need her doing the breakdance pose. Anytime a woman crosses the arms and does the breakdance pose, I'm out. I'm out. I want, I'd rather see Ray Gun do that pose. The Australian breakdancer? Yeah. Now, I don't know what y'all want me to do with that. Because when I had Nothing. asked him about it, you get nasty with me and tell me, go take your meds. I, I guarantee you, he didn't say... What bitch? Why you uh, take your meds? I I guarantee you, 
No. Well, she, he might have told her to take her meds prior, probably at another time. But I guarantee you he didn't respond with go take your meds. Good. Continue. See, I could see him saying go take your meds because with this conversation, I don't. You, you, yeah, she's off her rocker. There's no need for all this. Yeah, but, but you would push. never you would never say go take your meds. I, I would. All you're going to do is just uh, you never because all you're going to do is just uh, escalate this. Well, I would have been gone long before this, so yeah. it doesn't matter. I would have been out of here the second she did the B-boy, the B-boy stance. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. So when I posted it, I didn't post wait, it to wait, be stop, nasty. Stop, stop. When so, I posted it, here's the part where she goes, when I posted it, why did you post this? Right. What What was the purpose? How were you, were you going to post this on social media? How was this going to be resolved by you posting it? How is this going to help that relationship? Yeah. And not that they're not even in a relationship, but well, you a friendship post, supposedly is supposed to be, she said, we're supposed to be cool. At what point in time you post it? Uh, you know what? I got a problem with you. I'm, uh, when I posted it, uh, you, 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 you were already, it's already done. It's done. Yeah. There's no coming back because that's what, that's what insane people do. She wanted to get her pound of flesh. She felt hurt by something. She decided to post it because she doesn't. She's reckless. She doesn't care what that's doing to her reputation, his reputation. She doesn't care. Mistakenly, and he 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 he's quiet about it because she posted it on social media, and then uh, he responds to it. Check if we can get the response. You know, I initially was going to take the high road in this situation and not say anything. But the reality is I, I can't keep being thrown under the bus because someone can't control their anxiety and someone can't control these delusional thoughts about things that aren't real. I still would love for you to have a relationship with my children, but not to the extent that you make up these stories that aren't real. I went to New Orleans and didn't realize that the card I'm using was tied to something that we booked several months ago. So I get a call yesterday. Hey, did you stay at Four Seasons? Yeah, I did. Why, what's up? Oh, well, I got a call about some chick who used my card at Four Seasons. I said, that's not possible. I didn't stay with anybody at the Four Seasons. I'm not seeing anybody. If I was, what do I have to hide about that? Next thing you know, I'm on her story and I'm being accused of things which are just blatantly not true. Why would you post that? Why would you post that? If if y'all, by her own admission and her own admission, she says they're not together. Mm -hmm. Secondly, even if he was, even if he was smashing at the Four Seasons, that's his business. Now, the fact that it was on her card, he owes her an explanation. Um, he also says in the end of the video that I, you know, we, I, I, we switched it up. Like she got her money back, but. Why are you asking me what I'm, I'm the, the audacity to ask me what I was doing? And in no shape or form did she even say that some woman was using her card. That's what she said to him. Just, you got some woman using my card because you're trying to make something out of this that it's not. Well, not and only I that. don't owe you any explanation. If you love what we're doing here, go to patreon.com. It's the best way to support us. And check out all the bonus content. That's right. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. We do weekly bonus episodes. We do listener mail, dating tips. And also, if you love the show, you can go back to the archives starting from episode one. All the episodes will be there at Patreon.com slash Manschool202. Not only that, but the reality is most of the time when you break up uh, from a marriage, or a woman doesn't want you to be happy. Like no. the idea, I'll tell you what pissed her off was the idea that she created on her own head that he's off having and living his life with another woman already. Having he's happiness. Having, having <laughs> happiness. And she doesn't want that because they don't right. want you to be happy. They want you to be miserable. They're not rooting right. for your happiness because it, it's not tied to their happiness. How does it right. give, how does it, how does it help Tamar if, uh, if he's happy? It doesn't. It, it, especially if he leaves her and then all of a sudden he's been miserable and then he's found happiness without her. But by him eliminating this problem from his life, his life is better. So understand this. When you when you create this situation where you're breaking up and you're still friends or what you're, this woman wants you to beg, wants you to beg, wants you to want you to go. 
I oh, I just take me back, please. Because all that does is confirm to her that she made the right decision because you feel as though that she has more valuable, she has more value to you than you have to her. And the minute you let somebody know that, she goes, yeah, I did the right thing by dumping this clown. And the reality is just that it's just that this is a toxic person who wants to be able to she wants to have a hold on him. She wants him to be devastated because she's not in his life. And the reality is the fact that she's not in his life. His life is better because he don't have to deal with this crap every day. And she doesn't take accountability. This is her third marriage and divorce. And it's the third time she it, it hasn't worked out and she takes no accountability for it. No, no, none. It's There's a, no it's way hate. it could be her. And it also, she's claiming infidelity. He's saying he never once cheated, not once, openly saying that. And who do you believe at this point? Because she's out of her mind. She's not in control of her emotions. And But what happens is when you get divorced, then they change the narrative of what the relationship was because they have to. Because there is... It's there, also, there's a different thing in what she's saying in the video, which is, oh, the, first of all, a hotel would never say that. Never hotel tell you would who never. They were with, yeah. She heard it from she, somebody else. Who he heard it from else. somebody like, else. And he also says, "We, I mean, we fast forward because the video goes on and on, and I get it." But essentially, he goes, "The wrong credit card was on the number. I called the hotel. I had them refund the credit card. I gave them my credit card. It's all done. Why is she posting all that? Right, right. And and you know, she just is out of her mind. She wants to get her pound of flesh. She cannot." She has to change the narrative of the end of the relationship where he has yeah. to be the bad guy. He has to be the villain. Women will rewrite the script right? so that you are the villain and they are the hero because otherwise they can't justify why they left the relationship. It yeah. can't be that she's selfish and high maintenance and annoying, which we can all tell just by the how way about, she How about converses. this? We just don't. We're just not on the same page. The things you want, I don't want. Can we can we real quick look at her? The ex-husband? At the ex-husband, and uh, and this guy is a guy with a PhD, by the way. Oh, this is the Nigerian dude. The Nigerian dude, yeah. I will never, never bring myself to, to attack Tamar, somebody I've spent so long with. I never will. It's just not something I will do. I'll speak the truth. And here's the truth. I've been a victim of domestic violence, domestic assault. So she's she's beating him up when she, when she's not posting. When she's not posting and, and lying, she's getting high and she's beating dudes. So this is like at, at some point. But but what, what I think is interesting is, is how do you, even the white dude who's got swag, like how do you look at this chick and go, oh, yeah, this is this is this is one for the books. I'm going to marry her. Man, you you got to you. That's have where the to. ego gets the best of you. <laughs> that's where you're because it's oh, emotional I'm gonna, yeah i'm gonna tame this one i'm gonna tame her she's you wild know, crazy but... booty's the best booty so she, you know she probably as crazy okay. as she is she probably puts it on you <laughs> but i'll tell you this this is why you should never get married mm. less than four years of knowing somebody yeah. you got to be with somebody four to five years minimum yeah. the whole presidential administration minimum before yeah. you let go that, let that let that flower bloom Right before you find out who that really is, because nobody can hold it together for you. Not. Dante, if Jeremy Robinson had just reached out for a consultation, you could have stopped all this. You would have talked him. You would have helped him before this marriage even happened. You could have helped him if he had just come to you or me. If he had come to me and, and emailed me at advice from Harry at gmail dot com or Dante, how could he have reached out to you for a consultation? Uh, he could have hit me at Dante dot com. He, all you got to do is click on consult or he could have hit you at advice from Harry at gmail.com. That's right. We would have given him relationship advice, life advice, whatever he needs. Don't be like Jeremy Robinson. Reach out. Don't be afraid to reach out for help. We can help you be better men. Okay. I told him run. Right. That would be your advice. Run. Run, Forrest. Yep. Yeah. Right away. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.